So I'm going to go over extending uh, partitions and windows using VMware, System Rescue, and Disk Part. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is resize the low level disk. So we can go into the edit the configuration of the virtual machine. And I'm adding two gigs to each hard disk we have. And if we rescan the bus or the disk and windows, we'll see that added storage that I just extended using uh, VMware. So no need to do it at the command line anymore like you used to. So if I open up a command prompt here and do this part, I'm going to <coughs> list uh, volumes. And we can see the volumes in here. I'm going to select one of the volumes. Um, the problem with the current settings is that um, I have a, one with a page file and one with uh, that for the system. So this part will not um, extend partitions or volumes with page files or ones that's the system. So you can see when we select and we hit extend, um, it actually errors out here that it can't do it. So if we go ahead and do the system one, you'll see that we get the the same error message. So what we're going to have to do with the one partition is not a system. Is we can actually remove the page file from that partition and move it to the uh, the actual system partition instead. This way, it'll allow us to extend the the page file partition or the actual partition with the page file on it after we remove it. We can use this part in order to extend the actual partition. So and I'll go in here and actually set it so the page file is gone. We'll reboot the system. And once we reboot, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll log back in. We can go ahead and verify that the page file is no longer on the E partition. If we check here we can see the system uh, E drive no, no page file. No. So with that said we can actually open up a uh, command prompt go into this part again and we can see here that the page file is also not shown in the info uh, section there and if we go ahead and uh, select that volume uh, it's one now. Okay. Poor typing skills. Um, so if we select zero, let's just see show that um, the C drive will not extend. Um, then we'll select uh, volume one and we'll see that if we type extend after selecting that volume that it will actually in fact extend that partition so if we go into uh, disk management we can see that now the E drive is using the uh, all the storage that was available to it and it doesn't have any unallocated storage so for the system partition what we're going to use is uh, is system rescue but first we need to uh, at attach the CD-ROM 
or the ISO file to the CD-ROM of the virtual hardware and configure the hardware to boot up in the BIOS so that we can boot to the CD. So we just go into options, boot options, we enable to go directly into the BIOS and once we're in the BIOS we just change the uh, boot order. Once we reboot you'll see we'll log directly into system rescue. We'll type uh, wizard at the command prompt so that we uh, bring up the GUI. Hit OK. Take the defaults and we'll use gparted here which is uh, installed on this live CD and when and gparted is pretty much a graphical um, disk manager that um, that you can use to resize and create uh, partitions so after selecting or making sure you have the, the appropriate uh, device. We can go ahead, select it, uh, hit partition, resize, change the little slider bar here to what the size we want, and actually just click resize. So right now we can actually apply that setting by clicking on the checkbox here hit apply again this will go ahead and resize that partition once it's complete you can close and, and log out of the graphical interface and then uh, just go ahead and shut down the, the virtual machine So once we shut the virtual, so now we'll go in and um, remove the ISO from the virtual machine so that it doesn't boot up to the uh, system rescue ISO that we, we attached earlier and hit OK. Power the machine back on and once we log on to the OS we can go into disk management again and validate that the uh, system partition has been extended. Uh, typically the OS is going to see that system um, that system partition is a new device and it's going to prompt you to restart as we can see here. So you do want to restart your system when it prompts you to here. So we're going to click yes and that is it. Hope you liked the video.